think you've encouraged that kind of behaviour? And he's not answering the question. Do you I think mean, I, don't, done... I don't understand this whole... Do you le- want to be no, like a hey, 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 No, hang on a second, hang on a second. You can do that to me, you're not doing it to a guest. You stare at another guest again, and I'm going to personally remove you. I, I'm not taking the mick. I'm not taking the mick. You gl- glared at her in a threatening fashion. You do that, I'll drag you out by the hair, and you can be as hard as you pretend you are. You can be as hard as you pretend you are. You apologise to her right now. What is going on, everybody? Wired here, because you guys are having a magnificent Monday. And once again, I am back to talk about UK prankster Mizzy, who is not in jail, even though he's been arrested twice within the past month, but he's not in jail. He's back on talk shows to be able to talk about his pranks of walking into people's homes or threatening people with violence when they're alone on a a subway waiting for a, a train or stealing people's dogs. Actually, you know what? I don't even really need to talk about this. Just uh, take a look. James? Yeah. Come to the front door right now, please. James? Yeah. James? Hi. You man, come. Hello, come. James. We need to speak to James. James? Huh? Hi. Um, yeah, James. Is this Wait, where the study back. group is? No. Study group. No. What door number is this? No. Um, yeah, study group. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But this is not what a study yeah, group. We got right? kids, man. Oh, you got kids. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. Yeah, actually. And this is a study group. Yeah. So again, that's just one of the hilarious pranks from uh, Mr. Mizzy over here and his crew, just walking into random people's houses and terrorizing them. And he's very lucky. He's in the UK, who have very weak, weak laws, not like America, which have a lot of uh, good two A laws, because you would get a. Uh, how do I say this? Blasted, I guess. But Mr. Mizzy here has been in jail twice in the past month, and he's still out. He goes on talk shows. He hasn't learned his lesson. So let's see what uh, Mr. Mizzy has to say. So you've pulled well, me, me up. Hang on. You pulled me up on the. I'm not saying that. Hang on. You pulled me up on an important question because the minor detail of your mum used to not speak to you, but now she does. Okay. So look. So this is look, today's do, mail. Do you mind if I finish this question? The point is this: that what you have proved successfully is that if you go out and you behave really badly, if you go out and you you waste the skills that you've got, uh, your intelligence, your ability to 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 dominate social media, if you use that by upsetting people, offending people, stealing. I, I would honestly ask what skills this guy is giving him a lot of credit here and i'm not saying it's nothing to blow up on social media it definitely is it definitely takes you know keywords and whatnot but going out and harassing people to do so i mean we just saw this uh certain thing in the states in virginia where a young man decided to harass the wrong person and got gut shot for it now i don't condone any sort of violence in that sort of way i don't think anybody should get shot over a prank but I definitely think that people should not be approaching random people to try to prank them. Maybe prank your friends or your family, people you know. They probably won't like it either, but at least you don't really run the same risk of harm. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Throwing people into the road, threatening people. Uh, if you do all that, you will make it to the top. You've proved that successfully. But doesn't it also mean that you've done something really bad that's going to encourage other young people to follow your lead? I just I tell you what annoys me about you. You're clearly a nice bloke, right? But the reality is that what you are doing here. There's no, gonna- that's that's clearly not true. I would not say somebody who goes up and steals a, an old lady's dog is a nice bloke. This interviewer, um, I don't know his name, he has a lot more respect for this person than I would, because I would say somebody who walks up and steals a old woman's dog is not a nice person. Somebody who goes and invades another person's house is not a nice person. I wouldn't be making any excuses for this people. Really, it's kind of despicable. There's going to be a thousand young people who go out shoving people into the street, walking into people's houses, stealing people's dogs because they don't have the intelligence. But and they this don't has have been the done before. This has been done before. I am the first finish. person that Let has done finish. this. It's just Let a formula. Finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. This ain't the BBC, baby. Right. There's <laughs> other people who are going to go out and follow <laughs> your lead. Yeah. And the reality is, I say All to right. you, you seem like a nice bloke. I'll even buy you a pint after this. But shame. He's not going to argue. Shame on you cap. for encouraging people. Cap of lower intelligence than you to behave in this fashion. It's not a movement, it's a grotesque lump of narcissism. Is it not? 100% it definitely is.
The fact that you think you can go up and harass random people for internet clout, 100% is. The movement is real. What is the movement? What is the movement? What are, what are you trying to achieve? We outside in the districts every time. We outside means being outside with your inner self and not letting anyone tell you nothing because no one can tell you anything. You are your own person. And you know what the problem with this is? And I, I, I honestly realize there's a way to get a lot of internet clout. You guys can all say cap against me. I don't use my face or my name. And I don't want to. And it's fine if some people do. I, I totally agree with that. I have a little bit more of ambiguity. I want to protect myself for the sake of my daughter. You know, stuff like that. But there's a way you go about it. If you're going to comment on things or just talk about things, you want to do like an app and preach sort of thing. I totally get that. That's, and that's totally fine. You're not going out there and harassing people in the actual real world and making their lives more stressful and giving them trauma because you want to jump on the back of a Jewish person. Or you want to go up to a woman and ask if she wants to be offed on a subway train. You know, it's a little bit different. I think pranks are supposed to be funny. And probably at one point they were, but not with uh, this iteration of it with uh, Mizzy is doing, fortunately. At the end of the day. So the movement is basically, don't give a toss about criminality. Go out, do, what you, do what you want. Don't get a proper job. No. Don't get a proper education. Or you can be, no. you can be like Mizzy. You can wander around, jumping in people's houses, stealing people's dogs, pushing Jewish people into the street, threatening to kill people. Who cares? What does it matter? You can go to prison for a couple of days, even though you have the intelligence to never need to go to prison. You can go to prison for a couple of days, pay the fine, offend your family. Who? Can I would definitely doubt he has the intelligence not to do it. Because I think if he did, he would try to get social media cloud in a different way either he doesn't have the patience or he just doesn't care i'd go with the latter it's a toss the uk because laws are weak the uk laws are weak the using the uk laws are weak simple as ah see there you go same thing he said on piers morgan he was only arrested one time now he's been arrested two times and he's still out on talk tv he's still on another show like this yeah, UK laws are weak. I'd blame them for that. You know, this is America. It's not America, obviously, but if it was, things would be a lot different. You'd be getting dropped. You walked into somebody's home because of 2A. Just saying. But UK, step up your laws. Because okay. you're now being punished for what's happened. Do you know what? I saw a clip when you came out of the prison, and I think I saw a different guy because I think... I think you I do. think we have that. Clip, I think you do we? genuinely have okay, remorse. You, uh, you saw a different guy because I got cloned. No, You've I think we saw, we saw someone who did. Who was at, least, at least now we know the prison talk. Yeah, with all the lizard people, that kind of makes me a um, little bit go to this guy's on methamphetamine because I had a very good friend once, like ten back, ten years back, and he's completely lost his mind due to the methamphetamine, and he said the same thing: lizard people cloning, everyone's out to get him. Blah 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 blah. You can't see my kid because uh, I don't want to provide for him. And child support is uh, slavery. Not my words, his. Astounding. Okay. Well, Victim mentality. Is, what, Victim mentality. The, the way I see about it, these guys of your age do it a hell of a lot worse. And it might not be on That's TikTok. True. And it might not be for, for clicks and for likes. But there are. Th this, is, this is you being released now. How was, how was prison? How was prison? There's not nothing to glorify about, but obviously because of the position I'm in, a lot of people do know me anyway. So when when I went there, people were coming up to me, just supporting me, saying, "Oh, this and the other, like I'm a fan of you." Oh, so, 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 so no, hang on a second, Reem. Reem, I'm not being funny, but for a guy of your intelligence, the accolade of being the most popular lag on D Wing is hardly, yeah. it's and, hardly yeah, like. It's literally, I'm not, and I, like I said, I don't glorify it. It's Can not I ask you another question, Missy? Missy, on the serious note. And that I think is you promised too. Anybody on social media, especially on TikTok, you can get glorified off of doing the most outrageous things. I just watched a video by Dr. Grande. I guess it was a couple of years back. Guy who wanted to get a lot of social media clout got shot through a book because he thought he could take it, and uh, it went through him instead of just the book. You know, there's a lot of young people out in this country who are idiots. And I'm not saying there's anything bad about building your brand, getting social media clout, speaking your truth, yada, yada, yada. But not at the expense of other people. Are you currently in receipt of benefits? Yes. Uh, so actually you're working and receiving benefits at the same time. Are you a benefits fraudster? No. 
So what, what is your justification for saying you're not a oh, so you, you don't work no, hang on a second. Work hang on a second. TikTok's a business. Yeah, but I don't work. I okay, don't how much do you earn account. off TikTok? I don't have a TikTok account. I've been banned. Uh, uh, no, okay. I don't earn so, money from so, social so, media. So where you... So, where you, no so whilst you're working... Media, hang on. Whilst you're work. working... Whilst you're working for TikTok, making money, were you claiming benefits at that point? No, because I was under 18. Okay. Okay. No, 100% not. Because uh, in his own words, UK laws are weak. UK laws are weak. I don't need to do that. Okay. Shut down simple. <laughs> yeah, shut down simple. <laughs> it was a question. <laughs> Mizzy, I, I've got a question for you. So I know you've said you've spoken a lot about social media and how that's impacted you and that you want to sort of uh, get a lot of this attention on social media yourself. Do you think that you doing this on social media will encourage other people to commit crimes that potentially could cause a lot of damage? And I'm, by damage, I mean it could cause somebody to, you know, be incredibly injured or something like that. Do you think you've encouraged that kind of behaviour? Yep. And he's oh. not answering the question. Do you I think mean, you I, I don't understand this whole... Do you want to be no, like a hey, good hey, 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 No, hang on a second, hang on a second. You can do that to me, you're not doing it to a guest. You stare at another guest again, and I'm going to personally remove you. I, I'm not taking the <laughs> mic. I'm not taking the mic. You glared at her in a threatening fashion. You do that, I'll drag you out by the hair, and you can be as hard as you pretend <laughs> you are. You what can be as hard as you pretend you are. You apologise to her right now, or you're you leaving. I respect you, but I'm done here. Oh my god, yeah, I don't even... I honestly... Uh, that literally just came out of nowhere. I'm sure, uh, you know, like I said, I don't really care for Mizzy. I think he does uh, terrible TikToks. I think he harasses people. I think he probably should be in jail. But uh, this guy just went on complimenting him about how smart he is, intelligent he is. Clearly, didn't want to have him on the show. Good, good riddance to bad rubbish. Threatening Wild. guest does not happen on my show under any circumstances. <laughs> Me, I'm very sorry, but the way he it's glared okay. at you Thank is you, not acceptable. Andre. We never should have had him on the show. I didn't even want him here. I think the guy's a complete and total fool. And I, the fact that... Well, then you never should have had him on the show, in all honesty. I would agree, Miz, he's a complete and total fool as well. I think it's crazy he's been jailed twice in the UK for these pranks. And yet he's still just out walking around because, hey, as he says, UK laws are weak. That's criminal mentality right there. I hope nobody is hurt by these pranks. I hope other people do not do these pranks. As someone with a YouTube channel, I kind of understand the whole thing about wanting to grow. But I always do think it's at what cost. You know, and sometimes I think that might be a, a disadvantage of myself because if I were willing to do anything for clout, I know I could get a lot big a lot faster. But, you know, I have morals, so that kind of a, is a hindrance, I suppose. Anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for listening this long, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.